Okay, so he's asleep at the moment, but I'm going to make a tips and tricks video for you guys. Um, so, the first one is for the real cathode is feeding the bottle. So, what I do is put it, if you have a bib, put it underneath the bib, like that, and slide it through so it's on his lips. And in a onesie, pull the bottom of the onesie over the top of the bottle. And it'll sit in there. Because it's a three, you need to keep motion. So just use your foot like this. And that will he'll feed himself. Next one I got for feeding is if you don't have a bib or a onesie, you get like um sorry, you get a blanket or a t shirt or whatever you got, a bit of fabric, and wedge it in between the side of their face and turn the head to the side. And lift the arm up so that it will hold it in there, like that. And again, you have to keep the motion, just rock it gently, and it should stay there the whole time. Also, if you're texting or want to use both your hands or videoing or anything, the breastfeeding patch is really easy. I just tried it then. Um, you just put it onto your top and put the baby's lips and just keep a bit of a sway to you. And it works really well. If you're, you have to burp or rock the baby, you can obviously just um, rock it in its car seat for either, as long as it has that motion. And you can hear that little um, ball rocking back and forth in the baby. I'm sure you guys would have figured that one out though. You listen to the baby cry, and at the start, it has a bit of a cough, like a uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, It usually wants a nappy change. Can you film this? Okay, I'm going to show you guys what to do when his, uh, when their heads pull back. Um, so you have to actually tilt it back pretty hard, and then he screams. This is the sound of feeding. feeding. I did my Go um, drawers the other night. No. So I have a few more um, uh, tips and tricks. 
Uh, so it's a, the baby just ran a little car, uh, sorry, growl or coo or cough. That's normal. I'll show you some of those uh, noises. Um, if the baby's head go back, goes back, ID him or her and then rock them until they're quiet. It'll take about two minutes. Um, if the baby's making groans while you're rocking it, how it, like I showed you above, that's the care that it wants. A lot of people try to uh, say that's not the care that it wants and try something else when it is the care that they want. Um, they're just uh, showing that they're recognising the motion. Um, if the ID isn't working properly and you've held it and it's uh, not IDing, hold it above the butt, hold it there, don't move it. A lot of people uh, try and scan around like a barcode, like at the shops, and it, it wants you to hold it still so it can recognise it. Um, there is an emergency stop button, but when you take it back to the teacher on the computer, it's going to come up as emergency shutdown, and you might fail for that. Um, so that's six chimes, and then that will turn off. And to check that it's off, you can have a look on the back to see the uh, lights on the back, or hold it upside down, and if it coughs, the... Uh, baby is on if it doesn't cough it's not that's the next point if you're not sure if the baby's on have a look on the back the buttons the red light should be uh, just on or blinking if it's got low battery and if there's no lights at all it would most likely be off just hold it upside down again and if it uh, supports its head as well and the baby would uh, cough if it's on um, I use the breastfeeding device sometimes, so to make sure I didn't lose that, I clipped that onto the nappy and kept the nappy and the bottle in the car seat or pram. It's a lot easier to do that. And also, if when you get your ID put on, try and get it put on as loosely as possible. So at home, if you don't get the babysitter ID, you can have a little bit of free time, like have a shower or something with the baby. Um, and also when you're changing the baby, uh, the clothes or a nephew or anything on the bed uh, just make sure that you um, put a blanket under their head because I had that experience where it wouldn't have really hurt the baby in real life I don't think if it was a real baby because the head was already on the mattress and it just fell back a little bit too far I don't know how and it screamed <laughs> so they're my tips thank you for watching and I hope this helps everyone